Hi everybody, uh, this is Dave Gilbert from Praetorian with a very quick video on how to use either the applicator, which is this one here, or the iSwitch for uh, switch access in Boom. Uh, to begin with, we need to set up uh, one of these devices as a, uh, uh, a switch control access device in iOS. And to do that, we go into settings and then uh, into accessibility and then switch control and we need to set up a switch you see at the moment uh, the second line item there there is no switches set up so i'm going to just tap on that and then add a new switch and it's an external switch and it then acts, uh, asks me to activate the switch so i'm just going to press the yellow switch there and it asks me to give it a name i could call it anything i like but i'm just going to call it yellow and save that and here's the important bit you need to uh, make it set to select item there you go and that's all you need to do other than just go back to the main switch control menu and turn on switch control okay and if i go back to the home screen now and launch boom there we go now those of you who are familiar with uh with uh, switch control will normally expect to see um like the M, the S, the A, the T in this instance being uh, successively uh, uh, scanned and highlighted on, on screen. But Boom doesn't quite work like that. It treats the whole surface of the, the whole image as a single image. And uh, the uh, eye device then can't see where the buttons are. And its response to that is to, uh, to go into this crosshair uh, kind of uh, methodology instead. And uh, it's very simple to use. A lot of disabled people actually prefer it. Um, and all you need to do is just press the switch when you're somewhere near uh, where you need to be. And you'll see you then, you then get um, a fine uh, setting where you can actually select the horizontal, sorry, the vertical position in this case of the buttons. Um, so I'm gonna wait until it gets to there and i'm just going to press again now and then it starts to scan vertically and i need to do the same thing now what i'm doing going to do is deliberately get it wrong so let's go for t second press there and it tells me i've got it wrong so now let's do it bright there you go and you're on to the next task so that's it, it's as simple as that. Um, it will only work uh, in switch control when you're uh, selecting individual buttons. What you can't do uh, is drag a tile from one place to another. Those sorts of activities just simply won't work with, uh, uh, with, 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 with switch access. If you want to use those, then you'll need to go onto something like one of our blue line joysticks or, or something of that nature uh, and actually get a cursor on screen, which of course you can do in iOS now. Uh, so in terms of the hardware that you'll need, there's two, two devices here. We've got the applicator is, is, uh, is the one I've actually been using, but equally the iSwitch. The two products are virtually identical except for the uh, form factor. So whereas this one has got four sockets to plug in, uh, in up to four switches, this is in itself a switch, and then it's got a couple of sockets at the back there to allow you to plug another couple in if you need, which of course you don't in the case of Boom. Um, now, if you're stateside then, uh, and you need to get a hold of these, then you need to visit our distributor, Inclusive TLC, and their website is uh, inclusivetlc.com, all one word. If you're in Europe, then if you go onto our website, uh, it's uh, praetorianuk.com, again, all one word. And uh, you, if you're uh, in mainland Europe, then uh, click on distributors and you'll see all our various distributors uh, throughout Europe. Hope that helps. Stay safe. All the best.